Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Today, we're going to be exploring more of where we are now. Uh, apparently, it's 1000 AD. Seems to be about the time period of most games we are playing here. Let's take a look at Zen and Bridge here. See all these guys? Yeah, yeah, these guys are going to the Millennial Fair. Okay, well... Yeah, these guys don't say much interesting, but I just wanted to show you that we can actually get onto Zenon Bridge in 1000 AD. Normally, y you wouldn't be able to see it, but you gotta, like, stop right on the bridge, like, right there, and then you can get in it. So, there you have it. There's nothing over there to the east. Just a barren desert here. I wonder what happened. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, just an inn. Okay, nothing useful there. Let's see, yeah, I want to purchase something here. Now, I want to get the bronze mail. Be even though we're going to find a chest that has it later, we're not going to want to pick up that chest, and I'll explain more about that later. Another neat little feature that you have in these item shops, you can equip the item right while you're in the weapon shop, or, well, the equipment shop. So you don't have to do what I was doing in the first episode to equip stuff, so that's kind of cool. I'm not going to get anything better from Marley there. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, well, yeah, I killed him in that minigame, didn't I? Fiona died saving a forest to the north. Oh, that's not good. Hey. Oh, we've got the best jerky in town, but... You want almost 10,000 gold for some jerky? I don't think so. Well, maybe later when I have m more money to burn. Let's see what this guy does. Let's play something up B. Oh uh, yeah, I like that tune. We'll be hearing more of that later. Let's see what's happening at this place. Oh, yeah, they just want to go to the festival. Okay, where the hell are we anyway? What does the screen say? It doesn't say anything. Well, this is Poor Village. P-O-R-R-E. That's the name of it, I guess, or Pore, or whatever. Oh, I'm gonna get so bashed for my mispronunciations in this game. Oh, well. Well, okay, what's wrong with, what's your problem, dude? Oh, he's pretty rich in a town of ten people. Sure, I'll act like a chicken. Kalukaku! Ah. Hey, we get ten gold! Alright! Let's see what's upstairs. Well, you're so mean and bitter, I'm gonna take your treasure here. A shelter. Nope, he's a lying, greedy bastard. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Nothing we can do to help their family. Yet. And there's a ticket office here. Hmm, what do they got here? We can take a ride on the ferry. That sounds like fun. All right, let's get on a ferry and find out where it's going to take us. I always like taking a ferry ride when I play Chrono Trigger. I, I don't know why, it's just kind of peaceful a little bit, you know? It kind of puts my mind at ease and you don't have to worry about monsters or anything. And you get to see a little bit of the rest of the world while you're at it. and It's just kind of nice and relaxing, you know? And it takes us back here to Truce. All right, I guess it's a little faster. Maybe. Okay, well, enough screwing around. It's time for more plot. Hmm, some girl named Elaine is looking for a guy named Fritz. We'll have to keep an eye out for him later. Okay, let's go see Luca's invention. Nothing else we can do here. And, let's see, uh, Super Dimension Warp. This is a thousand AD. What, you, what the hell are you doing? Okay, well, let's see. Luca's inventions don't work right. Well, then she wouldn't be much of an inventor, would she? You could see the back side of the moon with those glasses. <laughs> I don't think so. No one wants to try my invention. <laughs> I'll try your invention. Sure, I'll put my life at risk for my best friend. 
or her uh, ego, I guess, or whatever. Energy transfer. What? Whoa! What are you doing to me? Hey, cool. I feel like I left a molecule or two behind, but I guess that's okay. It worked! Alright! Alright, well, let's see. Now what do you want to do, Marley? Oh, she wants to try it too. Okay, I... Well, I just, you know, walked up to her and, well, she, you know, she just couldn't resist me, you know? Okay. There's still time to change your mind before the rest of the game happens. Let's give her a big hand when she reappears. Uh-oh. Ominous music. And her chest is glowing for some reason. The telepod doesn't like her chest, apparently. Whoa, what the hell is that? Some kind of portal or something or other, and she dropped her pendant for no apparent reason again. You gotta hold on to your valuables better, lady. And no one's gonna report this to the police or anything. Don't worry about it. Okay, time to get out of here. Skedaddle! Gosh, I haven't used that word in forever. Where'd she go? I think they just say the same thing if you talk to them again. Her pendant reacted with the telepod, apparently. But, as is the cliché for all RPGs, the hero is willing to risk his life for a girl that he just met three minutes ago. We don't know where this thing will take you. Hang on to the pendant this time, Chrono. You just want to make time with the cute girl in the blue dress, don't you, Chrono? Well, at least he's smart enough to not say anything. Learn from Chrono, the ladies' man, viewers. The less you say, the better off you are. The more you say, the more you're going to make a fool out of yourself. Usually. Works for me. And we go through a portal and we just get sent to purgatory forever. No. Whoa! That's kind of freaky. Where's this taking us? Okay, let's get to the other side of this place. And we're in some place with trees or something or other. Let's get out of here. Whoa! And there's monsters here! Oh no! Fortunately, I'm so fast, I think I can kill them before they can even touch me. Or maybe not. I'm thinking of New Game Plus. Oh well. We won't be hearing about that for quite some time, viewers. So. <laughs> Let's kill these blue imps. Pretty easy. Yay! Let's get out of here. See, I think there's a little bit of treasure around here. Nope, just two more blue imps. Oh well. Fortunately, the battles are relatively quick enough, I don't have to really edit them out. Maybe later, but... Let's see, there's a couple chests coming up here. Yay, we gained another level! And we get a tonic. That's... Well, I think I said it earlier, it's the equivalent of the potions in this game. We get a power glove! Yay, that increases our strength a little bit. Crown has enough speed already, so I don't need the bandana there. Let's put our cyclone tech to use. There we go. Hit all three of them at once by hitting the one in the middle there. But if I hit the any of the outer two, I wouldn't have hit all of them. So you gotta like decide, you know, pretty accurately where you wanna target your tech sometimes, because they'll some some of them are area of effect techs. Okay, let's find out where we are. This kinda looks like Truce Village where we were before. Oh, we Went back 400 years in time? What the hell? How did a teleporter device send us back in time? 
Let's see what else they got going on here. Oh, that scene's gonna take too long. I'll do that next time. Let's see what's happening in this residence. This guy's forging a bell for Queen Lean. Oh, that's the bell we saw at Lean Square. Oh, how nice. Okay, well, that's about all the time I have for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we find out more about where we are, what happened to Marley, and what do we do from here and get her back to 1000 AD. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.